Hello, welcome to CES 2019. Uh, my name is Alec Bath. I'm an applications manager for microcontrollers based in Schaumburg, Illinois. Here we're showcasing some great ST technology born in a, uh, a multi-protocol wireless uh, technology demonstrator. On the top here, we're monitoring temperature and pressure. On the bottom, sound pressure level in the room with our ST MEMS microphone. And in the middle, our cool new time of flight laser-based distance sensor. So these are all running on our new STM32WB. More on that in a second. These are on a Thread network. If you're not familiar with Thread, Thread was born out of Nest, now part of Google. It's a lightweight IP-based uh, low-power network. We're taking our sensor data, temperature pressure, distance, sound pressure level in our room, aggregating it in our STM32 Nucleo board in the middle here. This is running a thread network and a Bluetooth network concurrently. It's what's called static concurrent mode. So we're switching between thread and Bluetooth. More on that in a second. And also we have a serial interface for our sensor data down to our F746 discovery board here. We can see uh, time of flight, the proximity sensor, sound pressure level, And this is running on uh, the 746 discovery board. We're running TouchGFX. TouchGFX was recently acquired by SC late last year for building really slick looking uh, user interfaces. They have a very nice uh, building tool for doing the artistic bits. We'll then generate C code, which can be directly programmed uh, onto our discovery board. We have a number of discovery boards that uh, we can use TouchGFX on. So. Really slick tool for, uh, for that. Um, in addition to uh, once we aggregate our, our sensor data over thread, we're switching to Bluetooth mode, transmitting to our, uh, our Bluetooth low energy server on the right here, which is also connected to our IoT discovery board, hosting our QuickTel cell modem uh, on the Verizon LTE network, passing our data to the cloud to our Grove Streams dashboard here, where we're displaying temperature pressure, time of flight distance, and sound pressure level. A bit more on the STM32WB. This is uh, just coming out. We'll be hitting the distributor shelves in a few weeks here at the end of February. This is uh, born out of our STM32L4 high performance, low power microcontroller family, but adds a, a dual Mac radio, best in class, to do BLE and other 15.4 based protocols such as Thread. We can also run Zigbee, where you can host your own 15.4 based uh, Mac wireless network. What's uh, unique on the WB also is uh, dual core technology. So we have a ARM Cortex M4 core available for the application and a, a Cortex M0 Plus core that's hosting both our thread stack and our Bluetooth low energy stack. And uh, in, in addition to our static and current mode we're doing here, where we're switching between thread and Bluetooth, We'll also have a, a dynamic concurrent mode that's currently in development uh, that'll be available shortly where we're time slicing uh, the stack data between the different uh, uh, wireless protocols uh, with, over the radio. So we can actually do simultaneous uh, thread plus BLE or Zigbee plus BLE. Um, all of the bits here for the hardware are off the shelf boards our STM32WB Nucleo board hosting our IKS ONA2 motion and environmental shield, the time of flight sensor shield, the MEMS microphone shield, all great ST technologies available off the shelf, low cost. The, the WB, uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's uh, hitting production end of February. At that point, all of these uh, boards will be available as well as our Q-based firmware which uh, the demo was built upon, all available free at st.com. All of the uh, function pack X cube software bits that were done for the demo are also uh, freely available at st.com for the, uh, the sensor shields, as well as touch GFX, um, the uh, function pack for the Verizon LTE cell modem kit. Hope you enjoy the show. Thank you.